Hi, I'm Sergeant Major Amanda Jury, and I'm an oboist in the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the proper way to clean your instrument and to disassemble it. After you play your instrument, condensation has formed on the inside of your instrument, and it is very important to remove that condensation. Failure to do so could lead to a crack in the instrument, which is a very costly oboe repair. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to remove your oboe weed and to put it back into its weed case. The next thing you're going to need to do is use an oboe swab. Now each wind instrument has their own swab, but it's very important that you use one designated for an oboe. Swabs come in different sizes and you want to make sure you're using the proper size to fit the oboe. The next thing you want to do is make sure there are no knots in your swab. Sometimes knots can appear if we put it away too fast and that knot could get caught in your oboe as you try to pull it through. So you want to make sure there are no knots. Then you want to take the weighted side of the swab. Take your oboe from the middle of the instrument and gently hold it while you put the weighted part down the bell. It should come through with relative ease. If you find that it does not come through right away, you can just give the instrument a very gentle shake and it should help the swab make its way through. You want to make sure that you gently pull the swab through. You do not want to pull it as fast as you can because somehow that can create a knot while it is in the instrument and you will start to pull and feel resistance and your instinct is to pull harder, but you will only lodge the knot even farther into the instrument. So never pull if you feel the swab doesn't want to come through on its own. The best thing you can do in that case is to pull back to make sure there is no knot. If it is clear, Continue pulling through gently and slowly until the swab comes all the way through. You can do one or two passes with the swab to make sure that you get all of the condensation out of the instrument. And again, always pull the swab gently. Once we are done with that, we are ready to disassemble the instrument and put it away in its case. The first joint we take apart is the top joint. I like to grab the instrument towards the top where there are less keys and I hold with a very gentle grip on the middle joint and I just slowly twist the joints apart. We want to make sure we use our tenon cap cover to cover and protect the cork on the tenon. And then we place the joint back into the case. The next, we're going to gently grab the middle joint with our fingers over the keys and have a good grip on the bell below the keys. And we just twist gently. The bell can go into the case and we take the tenon cap cover and place it over the other joint. Now it's really important that you make sure all of the joints are fitting properly in the case. If one of them is sticking up or out, the case will not shut properly. And you never want to try to shut the case unless all of the joints are fitting snugly in the case because you could damage the keys as you shut the case. If you feel resistance, Always check to make sure the joints are in properly. And after that, you must shut the case and make sure that you hear the latch lock securely. And that is how you disassemble your oboe.